The land down under has never been easier to reach. United Airlines has more flights between the U.S. and Australia than any other U.S. airline, so you can fly nonstop to destinations like Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane. Explore dazzling cities, savor the very best of Aussie cuisine, and get up close and personal with the wildlife. Who doesn't want to hold a koala? Go to united.com slash Australia to book your adventure. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. From the launch your online shop stage, all the way to the we just hit a million orders stage. No matter what stage you're in, Shopify's there to help you grow. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash special offer. Hello, I'm Kat. This is Dining at Disney, and I'm here with Kristen. Kristen, will you please tell us about some travel deals? Yes, if you would like to go to the Walt Disney World Resort this summer, I've got the deal for you. You can save up to 30% on stays most nights, August 21st through September 14th. And you can save up to 25% off on stays most nights, July 11th to August 20th and September 15th to September 28th. And how can people book these trips? They can contact me at themeparksandcruises at gmail.com. From the Gator Framework Studio in Music City, it's the Dining at Disney Podcast. You know the thing about good food? It brings folks together all walks of life. You'll discover all the best restaurants and food as you hungrily explore the Disney parks. Let's do this thing! The Dining at Disney Podcast. Welcome to the Dining at Disney Podcast. I am Kristen, Disney park enthusiast, foodie, and travel expert. I am producer Al John, lifelong Disney, Marvel, Star Wars fan, and also bounty hunter. And I'm Kat, VFX producer, film historian. You might call me a champagne problem. Welcome to the show. Yeah, I should have already. I should have said I'm a wino. <laughs> if you haven't already, please make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. <laughs> If today, you couldn't tell today, we're talking about wine. <laughs> yes, today, today, uh, tomorrow, the 25th will be the day when it launches. It's going to launch during the day. I have this mistake of launching the shows late at night on the night prior to, well, the night that we record these shows, which is Wednesday or Thursday night, depending on, you know, our schedule. And for whatever reason, it does better if I launch it in the morning. Okay. So today, today is Wine Day, International Wine Day. National Wine Day. National Wine Day, sorry. International House of Pancakes, <laughs> National Wine Day. So I today love it. is National Wine Day. We are talking about the best places to enjoy wine at Disney. Mm-hmm. Lots of places to talk about. Lots of places you can get wine. Lots of places that are nice to enjoy wine. But the one thing I was thinking about was who has extensive, really nice, well done wine menus. I mean, you can get wine pretty much anywhere, but if you're looking for a really good wine list, you are a wine drinker and a good wine drinker. These are your places. There you go. Mm -hmm. So where should we start? I'm going to let Kat start. Oh, okay. Well, I like juice wine. I'm just going to start there. I would prefer my my wine to have bubbles in it. Um, and my favorite sparkling red wine. I know people are going to get really upset at me about this. Okay, if, fine. If you have not heard, gotta have bubbles. <laughs> This will be new to you. Yes. Um, so I prefer wine with bubbles. And my favorite red wine with bubbles is called Rosa Regale. 
and I like to drink it many places, but one of my favorite places to drink it is at Tuto Gusto Wine Cellar at Epcot. I love um, that place. Yes, it's the best. I preferred it the old way with their old menu, but the new menu is fine too. You can try my favorite wine there and also at several other places. They have it at like the little carts. You can buy a glass of it. It's great. Um, but also they have an extensive wine list at Tudo Gusto and you could do a wine flight. They have three different wine flights under a Tuscan sun wine flight, crisp Italian whites wine flight, or from the hills of Piedmont white wine flight. So all three of those are $17. You get three glasses, probably not full glasses, but three tastes of three different wines and like four ounce pours, maybe. Sure. Maybe three. Um, ounce. Yeah, and it's at Epcot in the Italian Pavilion at Epcot. So you can have a meal there, you can have some dessert, and you can have some delicious wine. What do you think, Kristen? Do you like Tutto Gusto? I do. I I really like the atmosphere there. They did a really yes. good job when they did that. Um, as you said, the previous menu was better, but they do have an extensive wine list. And it's a really nice place to step out of the heat, sit down, take a break, cool down a bit, have some wine, snack on a charcuterie board, and be happy. <laughs> we've, we've, we've done that many times, as hot as it can get. In the summer, I think it's a great place to like step out of the heat. Agree. The wines are very nice. Yes. They used to, I don't know if they still do it because it's not listed here anymore, but do you remember when they used to do the best of Italy tasting? Yes. So it was like three different wines. You started with a Prosecco. Yeah. And two wines of the day. So like every time you went, if you went like two days in a row, you wouldn't get the same two wines basically. They don't do that anymore, but it was great. And maybe if you asked, they'd still do it for you, but it's still good now. I wonder, wonder how much of the change in the menu has been due to like just the craziness of the past three years. And now that that life is becoming more normal. Yeah. Goes back to normal that well, we'll see the menus and things kind of come back. I think this one was more like they didn't have enough seating in the regular restaurant. Oh. So they, cause the, you could never get a reservation there. It's not that great of an Italian restaurant. I'm not going to lie to you, but they were always so busy. Cause like if you're at Epcot and you're drinking around the world or whatever, by the time you get to Italy, you're like seven drinks and you should probably eat some carbs. So they're always busy and they extended the menu from the regular restaurant into the Tuto Gusto area. So basically you can order the same things there that you can order in the regular restaurant. Whereas before you could order like charcuterie, small plates, paninis, sandwiches, like little yeah. things, just snackies. And now it's like you, it's the full restaurant menu in both areas. So I think it's a little bit to do with space, a little bit to do with craziness, but the wine list is still great. Yes. And they have my juice wine. So <laughs> what is what is your first choice, Kristen? Your first informational. I think what I'm gonna have to to go with is going to be obvious if you have listened to this show many times. And that is going to be, and we have had we have had the the restaurateur master sommelier himself on the show so i am going with wine bar george um he is one of the few master sommeliers in the world and super nice guy great to talk to and he makes wine approachable that's his whole thing is like he doesn't want wine to be stuffy and this like mysterious thing that people are, are like, no, I'll just stick with my box wine. That other stuff is too complicated for me. Um, so he's got wines on the menu that you can get by the ounce so that, you know, those several hundred dollar bottles of wine, if you've ever wanted to taste it, you have the opportunity to do, you can buy one ounce of them. 
um, and I'll tell you, he gave a recommendation um, when we had him on because I had asked him for a really good and expensive wine. Like, what is what is one of the best ones? And he's and he gave me um, Protocolo. And I finally, we got a total wines here in Tennessee and I went and I bought it and it was fantastic and kept buying it all the way till they stopped making it, which was recently. And I was like, no, I loved it. But it's cool. They have wine on tap. They have a great, um, great menu. Uh, I know you've been there many times and have yes. tried several things on their menu. Uh, but if you like to drink wine, they've got uh, some very unique wines. It's cool that you can get wine on tap. I think that's very cool. Um, but yeah, some of these wines you can get um, by the ounce, three ounces, six ounces, or you can buy a bottle. So what is um, standing out to me at this moment that I am seeing on the menu is a Chateau Latour uh, 2009. This is in France, Bordeaux. Um, it is 150 for an ounce and goes all the way up to, and this is why 150 an ounce. It is $3,500 for the bottle. But if you were looking for something that's not quite um, that expensive to buy by the ounce, they do have a, a Chateau, oh gosh, Lovell, Las Casas. Uh, yeah, it's a second growth from 2015. Uh, again, French uh, Bordeaux, but they have that one for $35 for an ounce. Now, that is going to be like the top end of the wines. So you can get like, let's see. You can get wine. Uh, they have one on the broad side. It's a 2020. You can get it, that a glass of that for $10, $40 mm -hmm. for the bottle. So, I mean, they do have some very, very reasonably priced wines, you know, all the way up to the extravagant. Um, it's a beautiful restaurant and. Wine at every price point. Yeah. And you can ask all the questions you want. Like if you tell them exactly like, look, this is how I like my wine. Um, my name is Kat and I like my wine to taste like juice. Yes. So, and they're going to go here. This is your wine for you. <laughs> so I think what's really cool is if you make your wine flight from expensive wines, you can sample some of the good stuff and then you can just go ahead and get crunk on the other stuff <laughs> if you want. It's your vacation. Hey. So anyway. it all. Yes. Yes. So wine bar George. And they have cork they have corksicles there that you can get amazing frosés. And if you buy the corksicle, it comes with the frosé the first time. And then you can just get refills. And that's always fun. Yes. How about you, Elton? Okay. So it's National Wine Day. You all are clearly hitting all the major spots. But what I want to do is maybe shine a light on some f fun spots, whether it's, you know, just a wine tasting, drop in, casual lounge, or what have you. So I'm going to take a different take on this. And I'm going to say, let's go to Epcot and go to the wine cellar over there in Germany. Vine Keller? The Vine Keller. That actually was listed. Yeah. Uh, wine Enthusiast Magazine listed that place as a place to get wine. Really? <laughs> At Disney. World. Well, yeah. They wouldn't be wrong because it's one of my faves because it's super casual. Walk up, grab a flight of various German wines, and have fun lounge make some new friends it's not a place where you can really sit around and sippy sip it's really a place to take your wine flight that you get or a glass of wine that's it's all german wine and go to a table introduce yourself make friends it's a high top go over there and just 
have a sip, have some conversation, and then move on to your next wine flight, which will be somewhere down the road at Epcot, probably Italy or France. But um, you, that, yes. you can also buy the wines that you taste there. They sell those wines in the store. So oh, certainly. Yeah, you thing. can sip, literally take a sip and then look at the menu and then have it delivered to your room, which is <laughs> not to your room. To the front gate. To the front gate, yes, to the front gate. And then uh, you could take it back to your room for more libation go. fun, which is always fun on your vacation. Or just take it home, which we do quite a bit. So the wine killer over there, Germany, Pavilion, Epcot, definitely a great hang and a great place to experience new wine without having to make a huge investment. So... And it's always fun. We always make friends when we're there. Or we run into friends when we're there. That also happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Kat. Um, my next pick is Amaret's Patisserie. Ooh. I'm going to piggyback off your casualness, Al John. Um, I'm a child. They have wine slushies here. <laughs> you we like wine. So the list the that his was on, so was yours. Shut up, really? Yeah, it was on it's there the because of their pair. You can, you can have wine with their amazing desserts. Yep. Yes. So you can get my favorite Rosa Regale with a little chocolate Minnie Mouse topper, um, which is like sippy cup for an adult, which is great. They have different wine slushies. You can get mango moscato, which is delicious. Okay. Raspberry pinot noir, which is also delicious. Or strawberry shiraz, which too is delicious. But the real draw at Amaretz, because it is so casual, you don't have to have a reservation to go here, is they serve Iron Horse Fairy Tale Celebration Cuvee mm -hmm. for $19 a glass. It is a Disney exclusive cuvee. Um, it's got bubbles. Excuse me one second. Cat's choking on the bubbles. I'm choking. Choking on bubbles. It's fine. Everything's great. Um, Iron Horse Fairy Tale Celebration Cuvee is one of my favorite cuvees, and you can only get it at Disney. Um, they don't sell it anywhere else. And here you can get it by the glass for $19, or you can take the bottle with you if you really want for $42, which is great. Um, but they are not at all. Not a bottle. No, bottle. No. 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 bottle wine, and it's very like crisp and clean, and it's got a really pretty bottle because it's Disney, obviously. So it's it's really special. Something that like if you're on your honeymoon or whatever, it'd be a cute thing to have as a keepsake. Um, they yeah. also serve. We actually for... have that bottle. <laughs> Do you? Yes. Yeah. From one of the anniversaries. <laughs> yes, I love when, it. When I love did we it. Have it. When did we have it last? Was it the carriage ride? I was just going to say, I think that was a carriage uh, ride. You see, I, I did that for her. For that us. That's the best. The yes, you can you can order this from Disney concert concierge if you wanted to do like a special thing. They'll have it delivered to your room or whatever. Um, I know they also serve it at some club level at resorts, different resorts. But this is an easy way to get it um, without having to go through the hustle or hubbub of a reservation. You can just walk into Amaretz and order it and they'll hand it to you. Um, another thing that I really enjoy <laughs> I'm like the worst person to have on the show this week. Um, Wilson's Creek Almond Sparkling Wine, which is basically just like almond flavored champagne. What? Which <laughs> sounds disgusting. I'm really aware, but it's delicious. Wait, it's like okay. If, Wait, I haven't heard of this. You've never had this? Okay, so no, Wilson's and I love Creek. I, I need to try this. Yes, you have to try it because it's amazing. So Wilson's Creek Winery is a local winery in Temecula, California. Okay. Um, so when I was hanging out with friends who drank really heavily, very constantly, we would go down to Temecula and like spend a day and like drive around to all the vineyards. And I don't, I don't like a lot of things because I want it to be sweet. And they served me a sample of this almond sparkling wine. This must've been like 10 years ago. And it's still something that I enjoy. And it tastes like if marzipan were a liquid I... and also carbonated. Really, that sounds like Kristen. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. delicious. Oh, really and I'm pretty sure you can get it like Ralph's for like $9. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> so like, don't buy the bottle 
at this place because it's almost 50 bucks but like if you were here and you wanted to try it it's only 12 dollars a glass so it's really not that bad of a price um and it's weird like it's something strange you wouldn't think to try it on like a regular day but i say please try it if you're not allergic to almonds because if you are allergic to almonds ignore this but if you aren't definitely try it very nice well, yes. considering I have a bag of a blue diamond almonds sitting here <laughs> next to me. This and episode is sponsored by Blue Diamond. Yes. Really. It's one of my favorite flavors. I yes. think I need to try it. If you're not like me, though, and you want to try a wine that's like not for children or whatever, they have a lot of other things you can try too, as well <laughs> as coffee drinks with alcohol and just regular coffee and beverages and then of course their delicious treats you can try so emirates it's at disney springs it's accessible to everyone which i love you don't even have to have a park ticket cat i have but have a designated driver i have three uh wines from errington vineyards which is here in in tennessee that you would love they are sweet and i've got a strawberry a peach and a blueberry i would try it they're i would good. try it they're good my mom my mom sweet. buys the like pre-mixed like mimosa where it's like 75 percent orange juice and like 25 percent alcohol maybe but it's all bubbles <laughs> and i like that so <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were gonna say what a chip no it's I delicious can i can make my it's own juice. Blend, thank you it's juice <laughs> It's like sunny D and champagne. It's oh, so just ridiculous. I I have the, the taste of a third grader, okay? Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah, that that actually does that pretty good right now. <laughs> champagne, now that you mentioned it. Like you got some tang back there, grandma. I can have yes. some of that. Just mix the powder directly the powder. into the champagne. Yeah, might as well fine. throw it in there. It's fine. It's fine. How much more potent that way. It's great. It's great. Ahead, All right. Kristen, <laughs> what's your name? You know, if you were tuning in to to fine wine, you're you're listening to the wrong show. <laughs> Cause, well, there is Kristen and Al John class it up. I know why. Yeah, Kristen and Al John class it right up, and I bring it right back down. Well, no, <laughs> hey, but you know what? No, but think about it. There is going to be of our listeners. I'm sure there are plenty of people listening that are just like you that are like, hey, if it's sweet. And it's bubbly. Let's do it. it. Like it's mine. I don't Put want an ice cube in it. I don't care. And then I'm the one that leans towards <laughs> dry, drier wines. And I really like red wines. I I really do so, like I. My favorite wines are also fruity. Uh, I like a good. I got. A, I love a good riesling. You know, and I like I like the sweetness of a riesling. I like dessert wines a lot. I like port wines a lot. So those are my things. Um, I try to stay away from heavy reds because uh, the American red wines really, I, I'm allergic to them. <laughs> so I it's, itch, it's I break red, out. It's red wine, period. It's the yeah. histamines that the are histamines in wine and more. red wine has more. So like anytime yeah. I take red wine, I have to have Benadryl when I do it. And then I just go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's how I roll. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So enough about that. Let's move on to Kristen. Is it your turn? Yes. So I am going to head over to uh, the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Over there, you have Jiko, the cooking place, and they have one of the largest South African wine menus that you will find anywhere. And they have some very amazing wines. They do have, um, or at least they used to do like a couple of wine flights. It, I, it doesn't have online the wine menu there, uh, current wine menu. It's, but it's I'll massive. tell you, I've been, I've always been very happy with the wines that I have tried there. Um, every time I tell them, like, look, th- these are the type of wines I enjoy. I've had this wine and this wine and this wine before. What what new wine? Because I always want to try something new. Um, so, Good yeah, stuff. it's it. If you like South African wines, 
this is the is definitely the place to go and on top of it it's a beautiful restaurant um at a super cool hotel i mean where else are you going to see animals outside uh so it makes for a very nice and the food's fantastic so go yeah, enjoy a nice meal some nice wine and then afterwards walk outside watch the animals for a little bit and uh i think that makes a pretty awesome date night kind of thing to do but yes the wines there are superb and pair perfectly of course with the menu i mean that's what disney does nice this episode is brought to you by shopify whether you're selling a little or a lot shopify helps you do your thing however you cha-ching from the launch your online shop stage all the way to the we just hit a million orders stage no matter what stage you're in shopify's there to help you grow Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash special offer. What do you got next, Al John? So I have got another awesome place um, that we've visited several times because it's a great hang, and that's Ale and Compass Lounge over at Disney's Yacht Club. And I really like the atmosphere, the whole nautical you know, theming of it, uh, the brass and the dark woods, and that's a lot of fun. But they also have food for me to nosh on, which is so important in my drinking experience because I like to drink and I like to eat. And if I can snack and drink or eat and drink, even better. So that is really cool for me um, in terms of stuff. They do have a, a really nice wine list everything from spain to uh spain you know uh, spain red wines they also have some awesome rieslings there that i'm a big fan of uh pinot noirs and of course a bunch of stuff from california napa valley region uh so if you're a fan of cabernet sauvignon they have a bunch of that stuff there too i mean everything you could ever want um but it is not the most exhaustive menu like Chico. You know, Jico is an anomaly. It's it's an amazing place. Never had it, like Kristen said, never had bad service there. Always great with the wine recommendations. Always satisfying. Absolutely 100% satisfying. But in terms of just totally uh, casual um, hang, Ale and Compass Lounge, another great lounge, a favorite of mine, and definitely a place for some a really good wine selection and knowledgeable people that'll help you if you're just into the whole casual wine and uh, situation. So there you go. And I think it's a nice place to enjoy wine because it's, it's casual, but yet somewhat classy, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> right. So if you want really, if you really want casual and, and, and super fun and maybe a little bit higher energy, then go have it at the park, go do it over at wine color over there in Germany or at the, um, uh, over at the Italian um, Tutto, Gusto. Tutto Gusto, which we'll talk about, I'm sure. We did. Or we did talk about it, sorry. <laughs> Where am I? I'm sitting there looking paranoid because our cat is crawling everywhere, jumping around, and I'm thinking they're going to knock over a guitar or something. The war. Okay. Please, cat, <laughs> take it away. Um, I am going to come to california for the next one because uh at carthay circle here at dca yes it's one of the very few places that you can get uh by the bottle or the glass the disney family of wines which i personally think is pretty cool you can try the fest parker chardonnay fest parker famously known for playing david crockett uh He's a Disney legend. You can also try the Kurt Russell Southpaw Pinot Noir or Goldie Chardonnay. Kurt Russell. Is Pinot Kurt Noir Russell, is much better. Yes. Or you could try the McMurray Ranch Pinot Gris. Which I think is owned by Fred McMurray's family. 
and these wines are not on the menus at any of the other uh, locations in Orlando. Uh, so this is a place to come and try them. And the, usually when uh, food and wine is going on festival here in California in April and May, March, April, May of, of the year, uh, sometimes Kurt Russell comes out and does a little demonstration, talks about the wines at his winery, which are named after his long-term partner, which is pretty cool, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting if you're interested in like seeing the things that are uh in the Disney family of wines uh outside of the Iron Horse Cuvée. Uh you can get them there at Carthay Circle. There is somewhere at Walt Disney World that serves some of the family wines. Well plus they and also I can't remember where it is. They also serve Lucasfilm wine. Or from from George Lucas, don't well, they? Well, in Lucasfilm, so yeah, you can get that at a, a couple of places. Um, and I know the that Skywalker. Wine Country has Silverado. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's it's pretty cool. Dying. It's got a little it's wine. Yes, I think that's a. I like that idea. The Disney family wines. They're good. They're I've cool. had a few of them. Yeah. Okay, so next on my list, I've got two places that still come to mind when I think of good wine lists. And one of them is going to be one of your favorite places to eat, and that is Haleo, yes. Disney Springs. If you like Spanish wines, this is your place to go because they have, oh, like maybe a 10 page or so list of wines. They've got um, several Spanish wines and then they also have some other ones. Like they'll go, there's one like long page of global wines. So you can get things outside of, of Spain, but they've got a lot of great Spanish wines. And I think uh, what is better with Spanish food than Spanish wine? I mean, they're they're made to go together. So, yeah, if you like Spanish wines, definitely head over to Haleo. Get some wine. Even better, eat and drink. Do you want me to take the word? Please continue. <laughs> I'm I'm cat sitting right now. If you don't know, if you're watching the video podcast, you'll see our little adopted cat Thor. And he's needing some love. So go ahead. Go ahead. You can go ahead, you two. I'll, <laughs> I'll keep him occupied, and then I'll chime in with my lounges at the end. Okay. Uh, one other place that I think has a great wine menu by the glass or by the bottle is California Grill. That was my uh, last place. Yes. Um, they have had a uh, 50th anniversary celebration menu for the last eight or so months so it has I don't have an updated picture of the newest one but they have updated for the 100th anniversary I'm sure um, but their wine menu is extensive it's like one page but it's 8 point font and it's like almost impossible to read it's so long um, but they have a really cool thing on their wine menu that a lot of places don't have or that I haven't seen before they have two sections called interesting whites and interesting reds so you can try some different things if you're looking for different flavors, um, if you want to try something outside of your comfort zone, or you know if you're just interested in something you haven't tried before, they might have it on their menu if they think it's interesting, which I think is pretty cool. You could try the, I'm so sorry if you're watching this video, but literally this print is so small, I can't, I have to get really close to it. The uh, Gundlach Bunschnich Cuvée from Sonoma County. <laughs> or the Volkenberg Dorfelter Reifenpfeffer. <laughs> awesome, Beth Incorporated. <laughs> Doofus Merch Evil Incorporated. Um, <laughs> Albon Klima Pinot Gris from Santa Maria Valley. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, La Perlina Moscato. I, I would think one of my favorites is probably on the menu, and that would be La Crema. Which what is, is that? Russian River. Ooh. Yeah, that's a really good wine. 
cool. They have one that's called Justin Justification from Paso Robles, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> if you're a Justin Timberlake fan. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, they have a lot of different uh, varieties. Chardonnay, Rosé, Syrah, Zinfandel, Zin- Merlot blends, and of course, my favorite, Bubbles. <laughs> they serve both my favorites here, as well as the Vuv Clico, which is very fancy, but always delicious. But do they serve the Cary Perry platypus wine? It comes with a little fedora on top. It certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Al John, for you being here. You me. Count on me. Anyway. Good stuff. Kat. What else? What else? <laughs> hey, what else? I can go ahead and chime in. Mm-hmm. So, uh, when you talk about um, a good hang, and <laughs> <laughs> talk about a good hang, and one of my favorite favorite places to have wine would actually be Sanaa, and uh, you know, yes, we talked about Jico there at Animal Kingdom Lodge. And I think uh, Sanaa is also another great place because they do share. You could get a lot of the same wines there, but uh, nothing like having the bread service along with awesome wine. And we've done this. And sitting at the bar is also very underrated. I love the bar there at Sanaa. So definitely check that out. Uh, They do, once again, have that African Indian unique theming the dining there is great but like i said the wine is much uh, uh, shared with jico um so you can get a lot of that same stuff there so uh um another great place to have wine in my opinion Mm -hmm. um and if you want me to go again i could you don't have to okay great go (laughs) ahead then because cat i mean the place that I was going to say next uh, was California Grill. So Kat covered it for me. Okay, covered California Grill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think I think we've got. Do you have any other place that you could think of, Kat? My only other one that I would think of is uh, Napa Rose at the Grand Californian. Yes. Yeah. Um, there is another fine dining location. They have an extensive wine list mm-hmm. and a seasonal menu that changes constantly. Um, They have sautéed frog's legs on the menu right now, if anyone wanted to know. Uh, And you can get... uh, (laughs) And they have have an extensive wine list, so you can go in there and if you have a reservation or uh, visit the lounge. They also have a very lovely lounge there. Um, California, as opposed to Orlando, has fewer places to drink. But I think that Carthay Circle and Napa Rose are the two highest on my list of wine locations so without listing club 33 sure i mean i only can speak to places i've been into al john thanks for reminding All right. me. <laughs> <laughs> i sound like such a jerk <laughs> someone actually one of my friends in in, in just like you cat i mean he he uh, i was going to tell you he saw the flash um i probably shouldn't have even said that but uh, he has a friend that works in vfx and he saw the unfinished film and he loved it I got invited to a screening. And yeah. I can't go. Oh, Aww. I'm so mad. I know, but I, I heard still don't believe it's coming out. But I really want to see it. I heard it's a good film, but he he told, me, he, said, he told me he said, "Al John, you're gonna love it. You're the only person that I know can appreciate it." But I'm going to Club 33 next week. I was like, "Yeah, good for you. It's gonna be I'm awesome. So jealous. I'm gonna love it." But um, man, you're that that is a great place and um i do have a couple quick places because <laughs> because if you love steak you got to have a good wine with the steak Kristen really showed me the light when we got married 20 years oh. ago about this so i will say yachtsman steakhouse il molino over there at swan and, swan and dolphin um uh, you could say kappa over there at four seasons and bull and bear over there yeah at, yeah, well, you have to over there at uh, Waldorf Astoria, um, over there at Disney property. Please mm-hmm. visit those, pl- those places. The Smolliers know what they're talking about when you talk about great aged steaks, great red wines. Kappa is the same place. Uh, um, Kappa's you know, at Four Seasons. Kappa's at Four Seasons. Bull and Bear. 
once again, I can't tell you how much I love that place. Great steaks and of course, great red wine. They, their, their wine list is amazing. But I think the, the, the great thing about it is um, if you just want a great experience drinking wine, having someone like a sommelier that knows what they're talking about or a head weight that knows what they're talking about, walk you through the wines and tell you great tidbits about the history, about where the grapes are harvested. That to me is just like getting the wine and enjoying it because getting the story sells it on me. I love getting a good story. So the wine service is important. The sommeliers that can tell you about the history of the wine and the grapes and where it's harvested, what kind of, uh, how it hits your tongue. All those really cool things are something that I love about the wine experience. And you don't have to know about wine or, uh, but you just have to just love, love it. You just have to enjoy it. I think that's part of the love and, and you don't have to be a wine snob about it. I think a lot of people think that, that drinking wine is kind of elitist. But it really isn't. I think you just have to really like it. And it doesn't matter if it's a high end wine or not. You could be drinking bottle box wine and everybody's happy, you know? Well, and like the reason I picked the places I did is because, yes, they do have an extensive wine list, but they have a wine for everyone. So if you're a newbie or you only like sweet wines or you're somebody who's experienced and you want something very complex and all of those things. They've got all of it. Yeah. So, um, and flying fish too, by the way. My hmm. favorite. So top of the pops, what is your favorite overall place? Oh, I can't give a favorite. Yes, you can. No, I, I know can't. you can. Because Wine Bar George is always your favorite. Oh. It's at the top of the list all the time. I already know you. Yeah, that's true. And it is mine too, honestly. Um, Kat, do you have a, a favorite? Um, I think my favorite would have to be California Grill, probably. Yeah, good, good call. Well, I would say yeah. California Grill, Jico, Paleo. Wine Bar George. Everything we All met. the places. Oh, I mean, that's... All the places. If they you want to go, yeah. Yeah. If you want to go on a on a, a a bar hop, you know, situation, a wine walk, I think you can take this podcast and plan out your wine walk. Yeah. Just go from place to place and enjoy yourself. I mean, you know, wine, wine is so much fun, and it's even f- more fun if you have friends to go with you. Truth. And you can try more things. You definitely try and sample a lot more things. And don't forget Wine Bar George and the Frosé. <laughs> Do it. Get your corksicle. Get your corksicle. I um, love that they always have like seasonal corksicles. They're changing all the time. I love it. Got the little barrel. Every time. <laughs> I need to and we get need that. that barrel. No, that's right. And on that note, thank you so much for listening. We do this show because of you. If you enjoyed today's show and you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you would like to support the show, you can do so by becoming a sponsor on Spotify, or you can shop our links. We've got Amazon, Disney Store, Garden and Grocer, and Kingdom Strollers. Al John, tell everyone where to find us. Check us out. Check me out on Instagram at Al John Go. Best place to find me. Also, follow Dining at Disney everywhere there's podcasts, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And check out our family of podcasts. Kat's got an awesome show called Eat the Pictures, talking about food and film. Imagine that. What a great pairing. Also, Skull Rock Podcast or Pop Culture Podcast about animation and Disney, myself and uh, Disney award winning author Dave Bossert. We talk about that. We offer uh, some great insight as to what's streaming, and we review films, and uh, like Cocaine Bear. So enjoy, yes. enjoy that. All right, thanks, Cat. <laughs> next, <Yes. laughs> thank you. Next, uh, you can find me on Instagram at catastrophe at c a t underscore a s t r o p h e. If you're listening to this on National Wine Day, or after National Wine Day, or really any day. Please go and see Miss Hallie Bailey as Ariel, the Little Mermaid, when it comes out in theaters this weekend. Please support Miss Hallie Bailey. 
I heard it's really good. I heard it's really good too. Please support Miss Halle Bailey. Please support <laughs> Aquafina. I'm trying to think of who else is in the film. Oh, I love besides Halle Aquafina. Bailey. Uh, is it, uh, she's McCar- McCar- Jenny- Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. There you go. <laughs> Jenny McCarthy. There you go. Well, uh, so David blended. Diggs. David Diggs. Lin Manuel Miranda is probably not in it, but he wrote a song for it. So support all those people. That movie comes out this weekend, and I think if it had a really big holiday box office, it would be really cool. So see that. But also, don't forget to join our Facebook group. <laughs> and check out our friends yeah and check out our friends at disney dorks in the sorcerer radio fun zone and for all your disney universal and cruise travel contact kristen at the parks at cruises at gmail.com her services are free what are you waiting for go Until now next time, go now go now go turn this off and go we're going. Until next time. <laughs> hey, we booked Disney and a cruise. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I can't wait. We gotta go to Universal next. Don't do it. Oh, I. Uh, don't um... <laughs> sure, why hey, not? It's hey, good hey, Harry Potter. I love, love Harry Potter. You could I've go gotta, see the minions. minions. I've got to go back so I can use my wand again. Oh, well, there you go. Right, there you gotta, go. Go to Universal. Do it all. Yes, do it. Do it all. <laughs> Until next the time. For the new Harry Potter TV show. Oh, jeez. <sighs> All right. Anyway. Well, until next time, <laughs> I have been Kat. That has Kat, been Kristen and Al John. She doesn't, she doesn't want anybody saying anything. Oh, I muted her by accident. Sorry. <laughs> my fault. I can't. These, these, uh, these conditions are untenable. Uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's my bad. <laughs> I know. We don't pay you enough, do we, Kat? Seriously. I deal with me on a weekly basis. Oh, All for free. <laughs> I'm going to need a glass of wine after this one. My bad. <laughs> Until next time, I have been Kat. That has been Kristen and Al John. Bon appetit. This was probably the longest sign off ever, and I'm sorry. Nah. Information and opinions expressed in this podcast are for entertainment and informational purposes. All other trademarks mentioned are the property of their respective owners. I wonder if uh, Steven Spielberg would ever release a dinosaur wine. Oh, amber i drink that you drink that <laughs> you're like welcome to jurassic park here's my wine wine uh finds a way wine find <laughs> that's right why would find a way it's amber there's, there's a fossil in it i think i see sam uh, nell's eye in it <laughs> i don't know even why i mentioned that well lucasfilm's got a wine george lucas might as well steven spielberg's got to have one copeland got wine you know who else? Is, who, which it's other really director in Hollywood has it? What other a lot. doesn't have their wine? Who doesn't have a wine? Is I mean, really honestly, the question. Who doesn't have a wine? Yeah. Who doesn't have wine, liquor, beer? I mean, if you are famous, you have to have it's one a, or a all. It's a thing. A line of hair care products. A line of hair care products. Perfume. You know, well, you know clothes. who needs a. <laughs> you know who needs a line of hair care products. Kurt Russell. Yeah, Kurt Russell certainly. <laughs> And on that note, <laughs> how did we get from hair care, uh, wine to hair oh, care? Oh, boy. That was good. Oh, Lord. It's late. At least Sorry. we entertain people. Yes. Hey, man. I mean, really. If it's anything, we entertain least, ourselves. It's the least we could do. We have, I think it's like 470 subscribers on, yeah. on Spotify. So I mean, it says they've taken up the slack from not being on iTunes. Well, iTunes, schmitunes. Apple schmapple. It's all good. Well, great show, gang. This show will go up tonight. Well, tomorrow morning, rather, so that the algorithm, the algorithm gods don't get angry at me. Sounds good. All right. Have a great night, Kat. Okay, I will. You good guys chat. too. Good chat. Have a good holiday weekend. You too. Okay. Oh, it is a holiday weekend, isn't it? That's right. And this whole weekend. I'll send you pictures of, of the princess and the prince. Yes, please. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Take care, Kat. We'll see you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.